Shut up and sit down. What's up guys? Back at you again with another video. Thanks for stopping back by the channel. So every so often I get on the computer, see what's new out there in the tool world, any new tools that I might need, make my job easier, make your guys' jobs easier, things like that. You know, a lot of you guys tell me about these tools out here, whether it's through links in the comment section or through emails or Instagram. You know, I check them out, see if I need them. You know, some of you guys let me know about these tools that I, I don't know how I did without and or I find these tools and whether it's tool man magazines you know websites whatever it is eBay Amazon you know finding these tools never knew they exist I got a quick eBay haul that uh, I've had in the cart for a while now I just kind of been putting it off had other things going on but uh, finally got them in want to go through them with you guys head out in the shop and check them out all right guys getting out in the shop here just got the tools together it's been a few days so I kind of had them scattered everywhere it's been one of those weak shops a mess it's also 100 degrees in here i turned off the fans to kind of keep the background noise down can't find a tripod so we do this one-handed just make this quick a uh, couple big thanks to you, you know, some of you subscribers out there um you know turn me on to the uh gray pneumatic we we're talking about the 12 points and quarter inch you know impact sockets uh gray pneumatic was a set i was looking at i didn't know name brand when you guys sent me a link um, checked them out and that was the exact set that I got and I got them in definitely look you know pretty decent high quality stuff um, actually bought a whole set came with uh, a standard metric uh, part number on this one is uh, 89253CRD and that's uh, made by Gray Pneumatics pretty much you know a dual purpose socket you know you could use on chrome impact whatever but these are the 12 points and quarter inch you know I'm not gonna go buy and snap on quarter inch 12 points you know I just I don't use them like that you know I do use them when I need them but you know I don't use them as often to spend that kind of money you know snap on kind of money on them but definitely a great set to look into you know it also came with a few extensions I got here you know it looks like you got a little uh, two inch uh, you know four inch or whatever in a six inch along with a screwdriver and a nice ratchet definitely like this ratchet the you know the tooth design is pretty good on it I mean you know kind of looks kind of looks like a uh, maybe a gear wrench or something like that but you know it's flat on the back the selector you know a nice slim profile but definitely seems nice got a nice quarter inch ratchet out of the deal but the sockets are really where it's at I went ahead and filled up the two socket quarter inch socket trays that also had sent um, you know a couple missing obviously a 5 8 didn't come with and then you know your little uh, you know tiny ones here quarter or eighth I guess that would be and 5 30 seconds I believe but you know definitely a nice socket you know I like the finish on them it's got a little chrome at the tip here you could read you know what size they are nice 12 point get a bigger one here so we can kind of see the detail it you know nice 12 point design definitely a slim socket it's got the laser etched on there and I believe it's you know uh, probably CNC burnt in there it's more like I wouldn't call that engraved but you know that definitely seems like it's gonna last on there so you'll be able to read the sizes uh, metric was nice pretty much completed the whole set you know it did come with the uh, the four four and a half five and five and a half millimeter so that's nice it filled up the whole tray but definitely a nice socket you know I definitely uh, definitely use these and from what I hear about them they seem pretty good and that's kind of what this you know this is all about you know finding these tools that I do need make my job easier don't want to pay a boatload of money for them but uh, you know have them when you need them all right guys and then the next one I got to check out picked up a gear wrench Part number 84900. It's pretty much the uh, standard socket set. This one is in six point. Um, nice set. You know, we all know and love gear wrench. Uh, actually, got these pulled out. Comes with a nice blow molded case. But I pulled them out of the blow molded case. Nice latch on there. Let's see if we get this thing open. Got a spot for all of them. Definitely built. You know, pretty pretty tough. It's definitely rigid. Um, gear, wrench, gear wrench makes some nice stuff. But I got these in the uh, snap-on socket tray. You know, same thing, miss, missing the eighth inch, um, missing the five thirty seconds, and a five eighths at this end. But you know, definitely a nice socket set. 
you know, gear wrench is, uh, you know, it gets the job done. I, I, you know, I got gear wrench tools I use all the time, but I picked this set up just to fill this socket tray in the six point impact. Um, you know, slowly but surely guys getting these socket trays full, haven't had much time to really get anything done this week, but you know, we're getting them filled up, getting these trays filled up. Still got empty trays here for the chromes. Got a bunch of empty trays over here for sockets, getting them taken care of. Slowly but surely we're getting it done. But nice pickup through Gear Wrench. Found this on eBay actually, because I don't have Gear Wrench trucks that come here. Um, this next one, another eBay pickup. This is one that I probably needed a few months back when we did the Equinox build. Um, ended up using the other valve tool I got, but this one's perfect for those, you know, in those kind of built-in valve springs when they're built into the head and the head's big and you got to get kind of like a reach around for it. You know, it's better to have it when I need it. It's not like I'm doing a whole bunch of valve jobs here or lapping jobs or head jobs even that for that matter, but you know, nice little set, throw it in there, you know, throw a couple bucks at it. It's one of those sets that, you know, you don't even pay for a part number. You know, it's so cheap it doesn't even give it a part number, but nice eBay score, pretty decent. Seems like it'll hold up for what I need it to do. And then the next one I got, this one's a little better case. I like these cases like this where they just snap open. This one, doing a gearbox the other day and uh, some of the, it was so much rust on there, some of the th threads stripped out on me and uh, you know, I wasn't able to use a tap and die set and I got another little you know, pan tap set that I didn't have the size for so I started to look into it and, and this is one I didn't even know they made. You know, they got the drain plugs for it. You could oversize them, put the drain plugs, comes with the plugs, the tap for it, a nice little set all in one. They even give you the gaskets for the corresponding threads, you know, for the sizes. It comes with the gaskets for it. You know, I guess this thing would be, you could use it for oil plugs, oil drain plugs. Uh, we used it for, I think it was a gearbox, you know, a drain for a, a transfer case, actually I think it was. But, uh, you know, pretty nice, definitely. Uh, Definitely works out. Nice little set. Another eBay score. Just find one of those, you know, off sellers that has it. We'll see if it holds up. We'll see if it works when we try it. You know, hopefully the one I need it for has the threads, but definitely like that it comes with all the taps for it. It's got all the seals and gaskets and all that stuff. So nice little set. Another little $20 pickup, whatever it is. Can never remember what I pay for these things. And then I pretty much saved the best for last. This little guy, this little tool, you know, floating around on eBay, finding stuff, you know, checking this, checking that, recommended, you know, eBay has pretty much anything. You could get anything off eBay, but it's just a, such a simple concept, you know, basically just a hose with a one-way valve on there. I don't know if you guys can see the arrow here. This is used to bleed rear brakes or bleed brakes by yourself. You pretty much hook this up to the bleeder. I'm sure some of you guys out there seen it. It's such a simple design. I actually got a quick video of us using it on this uh, Honda, I think it was. You could see, you know, but you can see you just basically plug it in to the bleeder there and then, you know, you could pump them off. You could do pretty much all four at the same time as long as your master is not running dry and you basically just pump it up. You know, at first you'll see just air and then it'll kind of float through and then you'll see bubbles and then you know you keep pumping and then you'll just see steady clean fluid running through there um you know definitely works good you know i've tried it a few times i think that was this is like the third or fourth car we tried it on but it definitely works and i mean you know i'm always finding new and faster ways to get things done yes do i have a tool to bleed brakes the correct way yeah we got the mighty vac we got all the other ways but you know something quick and easy change a quick axle line or something or change out a caliper you know where there's not a whole lot of air in the system pop this little bad boy on there you know it only lets fluid out one way so it's only going to push one direction it's not going to let fluid or air back into the caliper once you push it out you don't have to open and close the close the bleeder the whole time it works a little perfect perfect you probably make these you can find these valves in a little quarter inch tube or whatever but these things worked out perfect i bought like five of them get them done have one extra um not really sure part number on this one but on the bag here it's got c303 definitely check in you guys do a lot of brake lines or brake jobs you know you, you think it might work or some of you guys that do use them or use something like this the same concept you know it's uh <laughs> just little stuff like that that makes me happy it makes my job easier you know i can't believe how cheap it is too you know you pay five six bucks for something it saves you you know five ten minutes each time you know that's going to add up after a while you do 10 brake jobs next thing you know you just save yourself an hour so but 
Getting to wrap this one up, guys. My arm's getting tired. Got to look for the tripod before I get out of here for tonight. But quick tool haul. Get back to it. Maybe I'll have a day next week where I can get some work done around here and actually catch up on some of these videos for you guys. But as always, like, comment, subscribe. We will check you on the next one. Signing out.